Right, welcome to Hyatt Place, Miami East. Aviation fans, you can hear the planes go by all the time. Welcome to Hyatt Place in Miami. Let's go inside and check in. Oh, another one. I'll press the call button. Please ring the bell and one of our associates will let you in. I do kind of remember this. We yeah. have been in this place before, so arriving guests you have to ring the bell button, which is here, and then somebody can come down and let you in. Yeah, I do remember their lobby is not on the ground floor. It's like second or third floor. So. Yeah, we've been standing here for three minutes, four minutes now. I'm going to press this again. And we're waiting for the door to open. That took us like six, seven rings before they let us in. We're on the lobby section. Okay. I do remember they have a nice lobby. Oh, the outside seems so nice. The family went just upstairs to uh, settle in. I'm going to show you guys a little bit around the hotel just to give you an idea what to expect. Look how beautiful their sitting area is. Right behind that bridge are a number of planes that are parked. They have done a pretty decent job with soundproofing. You can hear the plane just a little bit here. Uh, they do charge a daily and nightly fee here. The, the guy uh, at the front desk was very, very kind. He understood that we were here just for a few hours. We're leaving very early in the morning and knowing our status and that we have come stayed here before, he kindly waved it for us, which was uh, really, really kind of him. Here is a look at this uh, really nice breakfast area, free breakfast in the morning. You can pick up from uh, that dark area over there and then sit here and have a meal as you see planes fly by. A couple of TVs here, plenty of seating. I'm gonna see if we can come down tonight. I think we'll be pretty exhausted. We did spend last night um, laying on a floor in Fort Lauderdale International Airport to kill five, six hours. But I'm still gonna make sure if we have any strength, we can come down in our, even in our PJs, sit on one of these tables and have a little card game. This is the breakfast nook I was talking about, the usual high place menu here. These are the elevators that um, Khazisa and Alia went up in. And if I come over by the bar, I do want to point out that they have cutlery and a place to heat up your food. They also have a little menu. You can pick up some drinks, sodas, a couple of sandwiches, salads, muffins, and some snacks up there. Chips are $3 for a price reference. The muffins are six fifty nine, And of course, complimentary water with oranges in it. They actually have trolleys. If you have a lot of luggage, you can bring trolleys and that's the business center. And you can check out the sitting area down here. I think this is a nice little look. Of course, they have an ATM machine, a 24 hour fitness. So here's the stairs that comes up, the main lobby where we checked in, really nice staff. A couple of restrooms back there, some seating area and a door to go outside. Yeah. Lining doors and you're outside. We actually showed this in a different video when we came here. You can see some fans. It is pouring out today, so pretty wet outside. Not ideal for a Miami quick day trip. And you do need your card key to access this lovely pool. Again, for plane spotters, this is a really nice place because you can sit here and just hear the planes fly above you but for anybody who doesn't like aviation this may be a rough noisy place to be i really enjoy airport hotels uh, look how beautiful this space is
back inside. I'm gonna go downstairs show you guys where we parked and the process to put the peg on it so it doesn't get towed. So he said to put uh, this card on the dash. Here is a look of the hotel from the outside. It's about four floors. Our room is on the third floor. He said he gave us a really nice room um, with one king bed. Let's go check that out. Okay, now that I have my card, I can scan the card to go in. Perfect. The ground floor. You don't have to go back to the lobby. I think you can just take these two all the way up to the third floor. And we're looking for room 310. There's the ice machine. Making a lot of noise. All right, so let me go in first. Come on Thing in. first, we're gonna give you a tour of this little area. I'm gonna call it a little nook. And now here is a tour of your bathroom. You got stand and shower. Okay, let's see what's in the shower. You got your shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. I think it's pretty typical to um, most high places now. Some people like them, some people don't. They miss the old small bottles. Really nice clean space with a sliding glass door. First thing as we enter into the room, before talking about anything else, I'm gonna talk about the view. Okay. 747 from your window right there. I mean, this is heaven. Plus, Look at the size and amount of windows in this room. Some of our stays in hotels around the world have been a little bit more aviation focused. And I'm so happy that it's only maybe two o'clock. We have yeah. at least three, four hours of daylight. We can enjoy yes. some aviation. And I know this may not be as exciting uh, for a lot of you. We just do get excited about this more than we should, but this is who we are. <laughs> so let's address the people who are not a huge fan of aviation. Can you hear airplanes taking off? The answer is yes. 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 They have done a decent job in soundproofing, but can you hear the planes? Yes, you can. Yes. And so you gotta be mindful if you're booking. For us, And that's... for those who love aviation, not only you can hear them, you can also see planes taking off right from your window. And most likely when you lie down in your bed, you can see it from your bed. So that sound of plane taking off, that's ambient sound. That's the slow. sound like, you know, the white noise that we, we're, we're going to look yes. forward to. This is the part here. This is a small sitting area that comes specially with the corner room. Uh, the room that we stayed in before did not have this. So this is nice, especially with the kids. It's another area to hang out. Right here you have your living area, which also is a pull out bed, which we will be using later for the kids. Here you have your desk with a chair, coffee, and an ice bucket. This is the fridge. It's already loaded doesn't, up. Doesn't come like this. This is all us. We set it up like that. This is your TV. You have some drawers again. This is not a mini bar. This is all us. Oh yeah, that's what we stopped at Publix for. And just for tonight, by the way, because tomorrow we are gonna be on the cruise. Yeah. Now here's the closet. The usual comes with a safe, iron, ironing board, some extra bedding, which we will need for the kids' bed, but we may need more because there's only one pillow. And here's your king size bed. Looks pretty good, sturdy. The pillows, not so much, but good enough for one night. And again, the window. I just stand here and I can't stop looking outside. It's so beautiful, even though it's raining, but Florida, all green, airport, it's amazing. This look in a lot of Hyatt places, it's somewhat similar, but this reminds me of Hyatt Regency in Tokyo. Um, it was very clean, it was modern with floating shelves right by the bedside, floating uh, shelves where the TV was. If I can find a picture, I'll put the picture there so you can see the comparison. I like this Hyatt place. The lobby is nice, the room is really nice, the light wood. They can upgrade the TV, but you know, you can always find nits. Plus we got upgraded to this really nice corner view. You can see road, you can see activity around. 
Uh, if you don't like things like that, if you don't want to look at a highway, for us, that is life happening in front of us, so we enjoy it. But if you do like it, maybe you can ask for a corner room, and especially if you like av aviation, 747 Atlas Air right in front of you. Now, if you like this room especially that we are in, or if you want to avoid this room especially, this is room number 320. So take a note and make your choice. We used our points to stay here. It was $250 a night, but only 8,000 points. And to purchase 8,000 points, you can do the math on the Hyatt's website. It's cheaper than spending $250. So we use our points to book our stay here. 8,000 points, this is an incredible deal right next to the airport, pretty close to downtown Miami. On that note, hope you guys subscribe and Catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. So here is the look of the sofa bed. We're packing up to leave. And notice this morning, uh, it's still raining, very stormy in Miami, but the planes are landing on this side. So that just means very low approach onto the runway. We actually ended up uh, staying in the hotel and uh, laying in bed and watching planes fly over. It was, uh, it was actually a really nice plane spotting. Saw a bunch of A330s. Alia? Oh. Okay, I went in 310, but my room is 320. Can you hold me up? What is it? 767? Well, 710 doing 296. Seven. I like it. Yeah, it looks like a 767. First one. That's some. Um,